senior year and you got this. Thank you. Right, thank you. Our of the year, Miss Joy Clark. Evening, seniors. I just wanted also to stop in and say hello. You are um, the first I got to teach when I came to the early college, so I'm very, very excited to see you um, as seniors. I hope you have a great, great, great year. To echo Mr. B, if you need anything, especially those letters of recommendation, um, and started together. And so I, I, I'm so proud of you all for making it to this point. I hope you have a great Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Mr. B. Good evening, everyone. I also want to stop you guys. Um, I'm so very proud of you. You are now seeing Senior, it's a privilege to be part of your junior year. If there's anything I can do for you, uh, like Mr. Becker said, recommendation letters, I'd be more than happy to help you with that. God bless and good luck, everyone. Thank you, Mr. B. Tyus. Hey, a lot of the same thing. things that are here for you. Um, we're happy to help with anything, so just please reach out if you This might be a tough year, but y'all are, are tough and resilient. You can get Miss Wade. 2021. Some of you are in elementary school. I am so nice. And to see you now as seniors, it's such so amazing to see your growth. If I am here for you as well, and I wish you the best of luck in class. Mrs. Huff. Good evening, seniors. I'm Mrs. Huff. I'm just going to quickly say hello because I'm going to be talking quite a bit later on. So, hi. Okay, Ms. Godwin, are you here? Yes, good, good evening class of 2021 and welcome back. I hope you had a, a great summer and you are ready for your last year to be your best year. Thank you, Ms. Godwin. Uh, Ms. Rankins, I know you are here. Okay, I'm trying to unmute y'all. So, excuse me. Definitely uh, excited. New senior class. I'm not going to mention that summer checklist quite yet, but we will get to that. Know that we are here. We are ready to work. Just because we're online, nothing has changed for us. Definitely looking excited to work with everyone this school year. Okay, these are the faces that I saw come into the room. Dr. If G, don't forget. Okay, Dr. T, <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, if there are any other family members are uh, here, please chime in at this time. Go ahead, Dyson. Okay, I am so excited for this seniors. Um, we came here at the same time, um, almost four years ago, and excited to um, what you have become and what you will become um, when you get your degree don't forget to drop by and say hello to us have a blessed night thank you dr t are there any other faculty staff members uh on this call miss 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 tilly are you there you come in okay i'm here hello okay. seniors i'm wishing you a phenomenal senior year I'm here to assist you with any of your power school support needs. Parents and students, if you need a SNAP code for online registration, please, please, please send me an email. I'm going to put my email address in the chat box and have a great. Okay. And Ms. Tilly is going to be your best friend in the next. So make sure you pay attention to the information that she's putting in this outline. Um, so, people, please know if there's anything we can help you with or you do not hesitate to give us a call. An unvoiced concern is heard concern as the Miss T rarely offers itself again. Our goal remains to provide the best possible education for Eveland and to ensure that each graduate graduates high school with 60 credit hours of college coursework. So please give our outstanding faculty and staff a round of applause as they leave to go and prepare in school on tomorrow. And know that these are the people on the front line. These are the people that make it happen. I implore to continue as you've done over the course of your high school 
We call upon these individuals to assist you in any way you can. We are alert. And uh, just trust us. We trust that your experience with our school will enhance your faith in public education and that you and an education for your children, your students, that be of your love and concern for them all. So once again, welcome to Senior Open House. I'm so glad to see your faces here. And Ms. Rankins and Huff has prepared a wonderful program for you. By the time you leave tonight, it is our hope that all of your questions have been answered and you are ready to have a smooth opening here. Ms. Rank, thank you again. Ms. Rankins, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. We're going to just look at some uh, school questions. So what do you need to do to have a successful semester remote? You need to make sure you are prepared, make sure you are respectful, you have integrity, are disciplined, and you put forth your best every day. So what does it mean to be prepared? That you have all materials you need ready for class, you attend your Zoom classes on time, you complete and turn in all the homework and classwork on time. And you make sure your laptop is charged and ready for class. And you take good care of the lab and use technology appropriately. How you're treating others. You're taking turns, comments, zone class. You make respectful comments online. You make respectful facial expressions online. You're respectful of yourself and others while you're working. And you keep your login and other passwords private and avoid eating or drinking when using your laptop. Integrity. Who are you when no one is looking? Always turning in your own work always thinking before posting and asking, is it true? Is it help? Is it kind? You are supportive of your classmates and their opinions. And you always, always cite the sources and information that you use. Disciplined. Are you following the rules? Are you attending all every day? following class rules and procedures, completing classwork and homework each day, and on task when using technology. And last, effort. Are you being your best you at all times? Always doing your best, asking for help, Skyward. Hey, I wasn't unmuted. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you were unmuted for the most part. You were not muted for the thing. It just went dead for a little about a minute. Back on now. Continue. Okay. So I'm on the last effort. Putting forth your best effort. Are you being your best? Always doing your best. Asking for help when you need it. And actively participating in classes. Um, okay, okay, okay. I'll leave. And checking over your work before you submit it. And your teachers in your college classes may have additional expectations for you. But please make sure you are doing these things when you're in your college classes online. Before I go, I want to let you know that your scheduled day to pick up your books and any other materials you need to also help you be prepared for college classes start is Monday, August 17th. So that will be before other students come back. 
So Monday 17, and we will have a sign up genius online on the website so you can sign up. They are practicing social distancing. They take a little longer for you to get your books than it normally would. Practice being patient and understanding as you get what you need for school. And I'm here for you if you need me. All right. All right, we're going to move right along. Talk a little bit about something that we're going to be implementing this year called Wellness Wednesdays. And so this is something we're going to be doing school-wide with Wellness Wednesday. Wellness Wednesday about, because we're online, is promoting social and emotional support, being socially and emotionally healthy, healthy being physically healthy, all of that. We're going to activate our school wellness team are our students voice and choice and overall just again we're promoting who wellness um, some things that you will see is counseling social worker facilitating groups uh, building community circles college and career preparatory choices self-reflection and self-awareness and then stress management activities all of those will be done during wellness wednesday um, let me just move on to some other stuff that i do want to mention um, I do want to talk about an update that we have in DPS in reference to the graduation requirements has changed for all of our students and that does include the class of one. So the graduation standards has changed. Um, currently in the past, the eight credits to be a high school graduate, Current, it is now 26 credits. To be considered a senior this year, it went from 20 to needed 18 credits. Definitely, I want to make sure that I mentioned that to all of our um, graduating seniors this year. Uh, so what that means and what that looks like, this is my information uh, requirement checklist. Simply, that means that, that two of events are no longer required in order for you to receive that, um, your high school diploma. These two are no longer needed, and this eight now turns into I just want to make sure everyone was aware of that um, new requirement. Next thing I do want to mention, that's right, I said it earlier, y'all take a look at what's up there. Yes, we are still doing office visits. Yes, we are still doing one-on-one -on -one meetings. Nothing has changed for us, we're just virtual. That is, that is the only thing that has changed. Um, so definitely office visits are due. There be, of course, virtual or online and I give y'all more information about how the expectation is for all of our students. But I did want you to date September 25th and October 30th is when they are due. Um, also, one-on-one -on -one meetings. So we do know that we always have one-on-one -on -one meetings, one in the fall, one in the spring. Definitely it's going to look a lot different for us because we're now seniors on the things that we talk about. But definitely in late September, um, everyone signed up. One of the things that we need to make sure we have ever needed is that summer checklist. I sent out a summer checklist um, a while ago. A while. Um, definitely the expectation is that everything is complete on that checklist. Um, I am proud of a lot of students. I have received a lot of information for this scholarship already. I need this information. I expect that every senior here. I expect every senior to already be started on the scholarships. I expect for every senior to already be started on their college applications. That is the expectation. I expect everyone to have that list done and up and running. Now, Ms. Becker did mention recommendations. So that's something that you really have to think of. Something else I sent you was a brag sheet. So if you need a recommendation, that is something that you should be giving your teachers. That is something you should give me. That is something you give your teachers. That would allow us to write the best recommendation for our students. So again, that was a part of your summer to-do list. So if you have not done that, Make sure you get that done. Parents, if you're online, please make sure you ask your student to see that summer list and where they are with that checklist. Again, the expectation is that you will be done and completed. Um, this is the other thing that I talk about. So I, before I go to the registration, I do want to remind seniors do have senior meetings and we'll be facilitating those. I do have a lot of things that I see for seniors and it's not going to change. We have a lot of different workshops. I've um, already sent out, and if you did not, 
today. Um, Hampton University is doing our first online um, info session. So they will be coming on the 20th of August. Um, they're kind of doing kind of like a mock, uh, I always do on-site applications when they come to our school. So what we're going to do is visit. Um, the students got a chance to sign up today. We're going to go ahead and get those options in. So anybody that sign up, you will get more information from me to make sure that applicant completed by the 20th. And then on the 20th or close to the 20th, have our decisions if we're accepted into Hampton University or not. So again, if you are interested, the deadline was today. I sent that information out a few days ago for students to fill it out if they're interested in applying to Hampton. Also, I've already solidified today, September the 24th, um, UNCG will also be for session and I will get a sign up sheet for that. As I get our, all, of our, all of our reps from colleges this year, of course, that's gonna be virtual as well. As I get um, signed up, I will send out stuff to our students and as the students, they need to make sure they're signing up if they're interested in these universities. If it's universities you're in, then most definitely. If it's a university that you may not know nothing about or don't know if you're in, my advice is for you to attend. These are always still going to be on our Tuesday or our Thursday. They're always going to be on Tuesday and they still at 10 points. This is not going to impact if you have that hybrid class that you have to sign in or another class, college class that you have to sign into. This is still not going to impact those. We are still having our meetings on Tuesday and Thursday during 1040 break. So nothing has changed into that. We're just on. All right. Now, what Ms. Tilly was talking about, mandatory registration. So it is mandatory for all returning students to complete the returning student update form. No ands or buts about it. We are online. We are virtual. This is the only way we can communicate with you. This is the only way we have the parents' contact information, the students' contact information. This is the only way I can contact you about graduation. This is the only way I'll be able to contact you about scholarships, about workshops we're having. This is it. We have to make sure that this returning student update form is completed. Take a look at the date. The district said we want this done by the end of the month. We are early college, we've already started. We need this done by the end of the night. If you have not done this, please, 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 here's the website. You can simply go to DPS um, website and you you could just search um, registration and the form is gonna pop up. I'm gonna show you, this is exactly what it looks like. So you go to that website, this is what pops up. Every student, re returning student has to fill this out. If you do not fill that out, we do not have current update information. When we're trying to contact you, we're not going to be able to do that. Again, if you have done that, I'm asking tonight when we get off the call, please make sure you do that. Now, Ms. Tilly did mention that sometimes when you're trying to complete the mission form, it is going to ask you for a SNAP code. Hey, if you do not have that code or not aware of that code, this is Ms. Tilly's information. Please put this down, write this down. You will just simply email her. She will instantly send you that code. Okay, again, everybody has to do the registration form. If you have not done that, I am asking tonight after we meet that you go online and update that information for us. Also, if you need, if it does ask for the SNAP code and you do not know that, Please take that down. I saw her already put that in the chat as well. That is the email of the person that you're going to, or that you will email in reference to getting the SNAP code. All right, attendance. All right, so this is all juniors and seniors. So it says juniors, but slash seniors. All juniors and seniors must log in virtually on the first day of school, which is when? Tomorrow. Okay, if you don't log in, you're considered a no -show. Show. I mean, no show. We're trying to figure out well, what school in DPS are you going to because you're saying you're not coming to the earth. Okay. So we have to have you to log in tomorrow morning. I'm going to send a link and remind. We're going to put it on our school site. You have to log in in the morning by 9 a.m. so that we can consider you one of our students. If not, again, you are. In the I am personally sending you the link. You have to remember to get that logged in. Again, it's going to be on Remind, and it's also going to be on the school's website. The students have it in the morning. So if you're not used to getting up yet and ready for school because your school hasn't started, I need for you to set your alarm. 
All you got to do is turn over, click on that document. Okay. Every student must sign in to mark. Okay. If you do not sign in, you are a no show. Okay. So please set your alarms now if you have a problem with waking up so early right now because you're used to um, sleeping those summer hours. So please make sure by nine you have completed this document. All right. So that is my information. Everyone can always reach me on um, anytime. Uh, we've been doing that for the last year. But if you just need email address, that is my email, my work phone. You can always leave a message on that phone. I do get all the messages that people leave, and I will definitely uh, return that message, or you can send my email. Um, the easiest way typically that we communicate is done, but definitely you can always call or and leave a message or send me an email. Right. Again, thank you. We got time. Please keep checking. Remind um, the dates and the topics are going to be there. I'm definitely going to give seniors a chance to express concerns about anything that they're having issues with, but I cannot address concerns if you're not actively involved in Remind and that you're not actively responding. All right. If not, have a good night. I'm going to turn this thing over to Ms. Huff. Again, if you have any questions for me, please, please, please put it in the chat. Okay, okay students, I know this is the part that you all have been waiting for. So first of all, I am going to say congratulations to the class of 2021. It has been truly an honor to have been able to get to know some of you, to work with you. Um, and this year is going to be an interesting year to start off, well, I'm going to say this semester. Uh, one of the things that I want to start off with uh, before I start sharing my screen, and I guess I should let you look at me too, so... There we go. Um, so basically what I share is that if you have not heard as of yet, fall 2020 semester for North Carolina Central University is shortened semester. This means that your college will begin on August the 24th, final eight, and your last day of actual classes is November 8th. On the 18th of November, we'll start final exams. And the final exams will run until November the 24th. Your semester is over on November the 24th. And by it being over on November the 24th, that gives you a very long winter break because your uh, time will start right before Thanksgiving holidays. And you will not be back into a college to the middle of January when we start spring of 2020. Because of the shortened schedule, if you all have gone into Banner and looked at your current schedule or schedule for classes, you're going to see where it used to say classes will meet on an F or TTH. You're now going to see S behind it. That means that you will have senses. Um, and of course, uh, let me start my screen. And I have to get to uh, hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all just give me one second. Which is a beautiful thing, Mrs. Huff. <laughs> it is when things set up right. <laughs> And I'm going to the JDC website because if you all need to, um, I'm going to say, look at this. If she hasn't taken it down. Uh, here it is. Okay. 
This is the town hall meeting from NCCU. And I'm just going to go and slide over the I want you all to see. Okay, I'm going to stop the volume in one second. Okay, let me go back. There we go. Okay, you can now see the date that um, we're adding to the semester. You will fall break, which means there will be no fall break. So October the 12th and 13th, they are now regular class days. And then on Saturdays, these are the days that you will have Saturday classes. August 29th, 12th, the 19th and 26th, October the 3rd, the 10th, the 17th and 24th, and November the 7th and 14th. I want to go ahead and point out that the Saturday classes are going to be a little bit different. When you look at your schedule, if you see a designation in, uh, for your particular class, it may say web-based. If it says web-based, that means it's an online class. If it has a designation under the location or where, and you have in all caps, O-N-L-I-N, that indicates that that class is also online. One of the things you have to pay attention to, when the class has a time, if it says from 12, uh, 12 to 12.01, that means that is an, a totally online class with no instructional time, and what you have to do is log in on each day and do and complete the work uh, when it is due. And you can do that anytime during the day uh, to log in. If your class has an actual class time, then you will have to log into that class using Blackboard during the time of the class because on some days you will receive a lecture through the computer. Um, and then on Saturdays, it's called an asynchronous time, and I'm going to scroll this over. And asynchronous mean that community is not in real time. And pay people, all that's saying is that you will have no lecture. You do not have to log into that class at a particular time that day. The only requirement is that you have to log in on Saturday. Now, for those of you that have, let's say, five, yes, you are going to have to log in to five different classes on Saturday, but you can log in when you get ready to log in. Uh, no, I'm not. Let me rephrase that. You need to log in at your convenience, but if there is an assignment that is due Saturday, it must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. or else it will be considered late work. You cannot open it up and see that there's an assignment due Saturday and go, oh, I can turn it in on Monday. It's not the case for Saturday classes. If you want to log in to all classes between 9 and 10 and get everything done, then you're done for the day. But if you have a Tuesday, Thursday, 1 o'clock class, and you have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1 o'clock class, some people have already um, been emailing me saying that the classes are overlapping for Saturday. No, they are not, because you do not have to log in at 1 o'clock for either one of those classes. You just need to make sure you log in, you do the assignment that is required that day, and you submit. You can do that at your uh, convenient time not any specified time. All right, uh, the next thing that I wanna talk about because um, we were talking about online classes and things like that. Um, I had an opportunity to talk to math department today. And if you all would go into Banner, if you're taking any math classes, you will see where it says location or where the sections are online. Um, and then there are some that are not. One of the things that I want to uh, point out to you, all, 
just about all the math classes, especially math 1100 and math 1200. Those classes are called hybrid classes. There is no designation in Banner that will tell you it's a hybrid. So please just listen to me. It is a hybrid class, and this is what a hybrid class means. You really will not have to go to class during instructional time. You will receive your instruction remotely online, but during days of test and those are the only days that you would have to show up on this to take the test or exams. So majority of the class is done remotely. It just means that you have to do tests and exams uh, on campus in a classroom. They have assigned all of the labs that they have, uh, and there's about three of them. And because of COVID-19, 10 or 11 will be in a room to do a test or exam. They are practicing social distancing. That means that all of the desks and where you will be sitting are at least between three and six feet apart. And it is that every student, whether you are outside or inside a building, as long as your foot is on NCCU's campus, you must have this mask on. So there are just some conditions, but you need to realize that again, you don't have to go to campus at all times. If you are taking any calculus class, calculus one, calculus two, or calculus three, rules apply for that. It will be mostly hybrid. Most of your instruction done remotely, but you will have to be on campus for your exams and your If you are taking a math section that is higher than calculus, they are willing to work with you. If you are an early college student, you would need to make arrangements with whatever professor that you have. You can also do your daily work remotely and only compass for exams and tests. So that takes care of math. Um, if you look at uh, a lot of your world history classes, a lot of them are on. And one of the things that uh, we had a question with last juniors because a lot of students um, I really was trying my best to get to get to most online but we don't have that many online sections so to uh, let you know that if you're in a face-to-face -face class you are able to do that face-to-face -face class you are able to come and attend that class but there's going to be procedures and policies that to buy by uh, and I'm going to spell this out in a consent form that I will be asking Ms. Wade to put on the uh, JDC website. I'm going to try to get it by tomorrow. But if you are going to do these classes or you're going to come on campus at any time, number one, to have to take your temperature before you leave home and you have to make sure that your temperature is within normal range. Okay, that is what we're asking you to do. When you step foot on campus, your temperature may be taken again. You will have to wear a face mask at all times. Because of the J.D. Clement Early College High School is uh, doing remote learning, there will be no one that is going to be in the high school building to hang out and stay. We are also asking that, asking, but we are insisting that if you come on campus for a class, to come for the class, only be in the location of the and have someone to immediately pick you up after the class. One of the things that you are not allowed to do because you are considered a minor is you are not allowed to go any place else on campus of the location of the class that you are assigned to have at that time. You cannot be on class at any on campus at any other time. You are not even go to the Shepherd Memorial Library. You are not allowed to go to the student union. So basically, you will not be allowed to go any place else on campus. It is imperative that you go to the door of the building for your class. When you come out, you are someone's car to go home. Durham Public Schools would not be providing transportation as of right now unless uh, Principal Woods Weeks makes changes. So transportation is going to be your responsibility. 
but I'm making it plain. Uh, there are going to be people at J.D. Clement Early College, but it is going to be in a situation where you can come and stay there all day and for uh, someone to pick you up. So you have to have transportation to just get there and uh, to leave campus immediately at the end of your class. The last couple of things that I wanted to talk with you about uh, is going to be two forms that you all have already seen, and that is the consent form. Uh, and let me, to, once I can get to, I don't know. Okay, let me stop sharing this so I can go to another screen. Uh, I'm going to consent form first. I thought I was. Okay. This document is the document that you all have seen before. It is the consent form for me to release your information. I know that I have asked you for this document in the past, but I'm going to have to ask for it because of COVID-19. I am not able to get to my office. So again, I am going to ask everyone to complete it. One of the things that I'm asking you to do is just um, open up the document. It is on the JDC um, ECHS website for you to download, download it, save it, fill out, and this means to type in the information. I will accept your type name as your signature, and then I need you to just email it back to me at my NCCU email address. And that is also going to be on the document. Well, it was supposed to be on the document. May not be on this one, so on the next one. Uh, but my email address is, and I'm going to type it in chat as soon as I stop sharing. So that is the FERPA form. So I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to go to my next form. And again, this is another document that I've seen before. Uh, and I'm not going to go through the entire document. Uh, I'm just going to deal with a couple of um, things about it. Uh, we're just going to go over. Everybody knows about FERPA. We also know that because of the FERPA laws that your parents are not able to contact us or any staff me members regarding your academic uh, status. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to attendance, though. As you all know, uh, uh, North Carolina Central has recently got rid of their attendance policy. But here's because, well, it's not a problem, but with COVID-19 and because a lot of things remotely, attendance is definitely going to be taken uh, every day. Uh, as a matter of fact, all of the NCCU instructors have been told that uh, attendance is a requirement. So they're going to be taking attendance every day and they are going to be notifying me while I'm missing a lot of days. So I really need you all to definitely log in every day and make sure that when your assignments are due, just go ahead and do. Um, so again, we will be attendance. Uh, and then the only other thing that I wanted to make note of, all of those uh, code of conduct, it's pretty much similar to what Ms. went over, and you will get a chance to read that. One of the things that I is going to be just this last page, which is the consent form. So the document itself, I do not need you to whole document. I only need you to send me this one page with your with your name typed on it and your parents' name, um, and that's providing consent. Um, and then um, to do. I'm sorry. We're going to go here. Uh, email address is right here. That's teresa.huff at nccu.edu. Again, uh, I wish best of luck. This is, should be an exciting year for you, you because it is your senior year, but it's also going to be a challenge year because, again, we do things a little bit differently. So, again, I'm saying congratulations on making your senior year of high school. 
And if you have any questions, please put that and I will try to address them as soon as I possibly can. Um, and hopefully um, I've gone over everything that you all